Hamza Khan was four years old when he died, but he was so malnourished and his growth was so stunted that when his mummified corpse was eventually found, he was still wearing a baby grow meant for a six-month-old. The prosecution say Amanda Hutton allowed her son to starve to death and hid his body in a cot at her home for almost two years. She denies manslaughter by gross negligence and failing to seek medical help. Today, a witness who can't be identified for legal reasons described seeing Hamza shortly before his death. The witness told the jury, He looked absolutely appalling, crusty and pale. He was a bit bald. I could see red scabby bits on his head. It didn't look right. He didn't get fed much. He was really skinny, stick thin. The witness said Amanda Hutton had an alcohol problem. They described the house as a tip, a complete mess, full of mouldy food, empty vodka bottles and dirty clothes. The court heard that the bath was covered in cat faeces and Amanda Hutton's dried vomit was on the floor. The jury's already been told that Hamza's corpse was discovered at the house in Bradford when a police community support officer was called in September 2011 after neighbours complained about the mess and smell. Today's witness said the conditions Hamza lived in were awful and that after his death, Hutton explained his disappearance by claiming that he'd gone to live with relatives on the south coast.